Hi everyone. In this video, you're going to learn how to create a basketball in Onship. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to create your document. Um, since I've already created an example for you here, this is how the part is supposed to look. I'm going to create a new part studio and I'm going to begin by clicking the front plane and making a sketch on the front plane. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a center point circle with the center at the origin. And I'm going to dimension it to 50 millimeters. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to drop a line down the center, like so. And then I'll use the trim tool to trim off the second part of the um, arc. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click escape and I'm gonna to go to the extrude tool and I'm gonna select semi, like the half. Oops, not extrude, sorry, I meant revolve. I'm going to select the semicircle and then for the revolve axis, I'm gonna select the line that I dropped down and then I'm gonna click the green check button. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go down to the part section and near the parts, parenthesis one, I'm gonna select hide all parts. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a new sketch using the front plane again. This time I'm also going to create a new circle with a size of 50 millimeters. Sorry, not 55, I meant 50. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the circle, center point circle tool, and I'm going to click on the circumference of the basketball, I mean the circle that I just drew. And I'm going to make a circle with the dimension of 34 millimeters. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the offset tool and I'm going to make an outer rim. Click enter. Then I'm going to type in 1.5 for a millimeter measurement. Then what I'm going to do is I want to create the same pattern below. So I'm going to go to the mirror tool select the axis created by the top plane, I believe, and select both circles. And then I'm gonna click escape. Now what I wanna do is I wanna create the line down the middle. So I'm going to go to my rectangle tool and I'm gonna select center point rectangle. Then I'm going to go to the origin, zoom outwards and create a rectangle. Do the same thing for this rectangle. Then I'm going to go to my constraints, select the equal constraint, and select these two to be equal. Then I'm going to go to my dimension tool. I'm going to change the dimension to, again, 1.5. So this way, when I change it to 1, all of them change together. Then I'm going to click Escape. And now I'm going to use the Trim tool. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is when I'm using the trim tool, I'm going to get rid of the parts that are outside of the ball, except for these rectangle pieces. So basically just parts of the circles that we drew. And then when we zoom in, I don't want any pieces intersecting with the path of the rectangles that I drew. So I'm just going to delete all of that. So parts here, yeah, that was sleeping, but even the point, the points don't really matter. Uh, then here, all four sides are intersecting, so I can remove all of that. And then the same thing here. Okay. So now I'm going to finish my sketch. And I'm going to go to extrude. So here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a depth 60 millimeters. And I'm going to make it a remove, symmetric and merge with all. 
And for my faces and regions to extrude, I'm gonna select sketch two, but not the entirety of it. Take that back. You're just going to select the outline of the, this piece, right? And then you're gonna click the green check button. It should look something like this. So notice how um, all, everything is hidden. We're not quite done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to sketch, select the front plane. And this time we're gonna make a circle, but with a different measurement. We're going to make the measurement 48.5. So then what we're gonna do is we're going to do the same process. Drop a line down the middle. Drop, um, then use the trim tool, delete the arc. Then use the extrude tool to extrude it. I mean, sorry. Oh my gosh, I don't know why I keep saying extrude. I'm at revolve. So then use my drop down line on my revolve axis. Click the green check button. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show all parts. And voila, but if you, this is actually the entire tutorial, like if you want to create a basic possible, um, but there are a few things you can do to make it look a bit more realistic. So you can, first of all, change the colors. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to part nine, which is the inside sphere that we created. I'm going to control and click edit appearance and I'm gonna make the inside black. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click Command if you're on Windows or Control if you're on, sorry, Command if you're on Mac and Control if you're on Windows. And I'm gonna select all of the parts created, right click and click Edit Appearance for eight parts. I'm going to use this color, it's a suggested color there. And there's your a, a bit more realistic um, basketball. Then I believe you can camper the edges, camper it should look a bit more believable. So okay. To do that, then it looks a bit more realistic. So, yeah, that's how you create your basketball. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.